Well, John, we spoke about it briefly after the game on Saturday, but where are the group in terms of where you'd like them to be at the moment? Yeah, we're getting there. It's still at the at the very early stages of obviously myself being in the building and the players getting to know me and vice versa. So, yeah, we're not getting too carried away. There's there's a huge amount of work to do, but I think everything that I've asked and, and the coaching staff have asked of the, the boys to take on over the past three weeks, they've done really well. And hopefully we've seen that reflected in games at the moment. Played AFC Wimbledon in a friendly on Tuesday at the training ground. How did that go for you? Yeah, it went really well. I think the the first thing was that it was a, a fitness exercise to make sure that some of the lads that didn't have minutes in their legs got some of those minutes that were much needed. We'd had, uh, certainly since I've come in, a, a relatively stable starting eleven, which is obviously a positive, but the negative that you bring out of that is that we've got players there that, that need some minutes if and when they're going to be called upon to play. So it was a really good exercise. We had a very strong AFC Wimbledon team come down and it was competitive. Um, we made sure we treated it properly and yeah, thankfully we, we came through it really well and um, yeah, got a victory as well. Which players managed to get some minutes that you, you, you like to see on uh, on Tuesday? Yeah, so we had uh, uh, Josh in goal, uh, I think which was, which was really positive. Josh's first involvement um, really in, in competitive action um, since he last played, I think, in the, in the league game against Bolton. Uh, and then we we had uh, ten of oh, sorry nine outfield players that have been involved in the first team. So uh, Denver, Joe Rafferty, Kieran Freeman, Louis Thompson, Rico Hackett, uh, Harry, then Paddy, Joe Piggott, and Dane Scarlett all played. So that was a good memory test. But those yeah those are all of them. We also got a good chance to see some of the younger lads as well, which was great. I think it's well noted that Joe Rafferty was involved. How did he progress? I know he, he got some minutes on Tuesday and obviously in his re- recovery from injury. Yeah, he, he progressed really well. The most important thing was just to get the minutes under his belt for Joe. So 60 minutes for him, making sure that he got through that injury free and progressed in terms of fitness, match fitness is the next stage for him. He's been back in training and he's been doing really well in training. But uh, those are two very different things, being able to get through it in training and then also uh, matches. So when we you know, need to call upon him, then hopefully these sort of games help him just to, to get his legs back. Obviously, aside from that game, you've had valuable minutes on the training pitch with the team. How important has that been for you? Yeah, really important. Another week where we've we've actually had a full week to, to get the players out on the grass. We did a recovery session on Monday after the game Saturday because they, they put a, a huge amount into that. And then Tuesday, Thursday have been, been great times to actually you know get some get some ideas into them and, and work on a few bits that we previously hadn't had a chance to work on these yeah the three weeks are really valuable there's um, there's always in the back of our minds we've got to think about the physical uh, levels that the players are hitting and um, you know always look after that considering we've got a really busy week next week uh, not just with the the three games but the fact two of them are away and we've got travel on top of that so we've always got that in the back of our mind but yeah the three weeks are a really good opportunity to work on quite a few of the things that we're looking to put into the lads. Ronan Curtis, Clark Robertson and, and Jay Mingy have been back on the grass this week. How are they progressing? Yeah, progressing really well, all three of them on, on different pathways, but back out on the grass and, and doing a lot of running and I think doing a bit of ball work, which is really positive. I think out of the three of them, Ronan is the closest to be to be back. Hopefully we'll see him back in training at some point next week. And then um, with Jay and Clark, we are a matter of weeks rather than months at this stage, which is really positive. That's a trip to Home Park up next, a, a difficult tie against Plymouth. What are you expecting from it? How much are you looking forward to it? Really looking forward to it. I've, I'm told that it's been a bit of a tasty encounter over the past few years and we're expecting close to a sellout, which will be amazing. I think the, the atmosphere that you can you can get there, not just from the home fans, but from the away fans as well at Home Park is, is brilliant. Um, if we can sort of pack that away end, it's going to be amazing. And we know, you know, we know that Plymouth are a really good side. They've been at the top of the league for the vast majority of the season. I think they only fell off top spot last week, losing away to Sheffield Wednesday, where they were probably slightly unlucky. So we know they're a really good side. They're they're very well drilled. I think uh, Stephen's taken over from Ryan, and and you know it's a pretty seamless transition. They were unlucky just to miss out at the back end of last year, and they've kicked on again this year, where I think maybe a lot of people might have thought they were going to drop off, but um, they they certainly haven't. They've they've done completely the opposite, and they've. Uh, I think for me, been the standout side in the league this year.